shots that you would have never guessed two years ago. It's David Pooge. Oh, it's a terrific shot from the edge of the rough there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm standing here with Papa right now. And, he, and that's what we love. That's what we want to do, create this team atmosphere and Pete's spirit and, and his head. David Pooge, his second shot at five. Yeah, that'll do it. Pitching wedge, hard one. Go. Go. That's a terrific shot from 161 yards. That's a big wedge. Judged it beautifully. It's a little left. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> it was about six inches left for a while. I think Bubba played his third from the bunker at the second. Delightful. To the edge of the hazard there, but more across the water. Here he go directly at it. You're right. It's a low right. one. Yeah, that's a nice shot. And then he birded five, a par at six. Here he is, his second shot at the seventh. They finished in the top five in nine of the final ten events. They're a deep team, which includes Anna Van Lahiri. It's his second shot of the sixth. What a beauty. But with all four scores counting, it's so hard to separate yourself to the good side, to just walk away with it. That would take two or three players playing great ball. So it's going to be tight. Had a driver out, but then ended up pulling out the hybrid off the tee, playing to his percentages. The par and the rippers at the moment leading the chase for ninth place. We will have rankings one to twelve after Championship Sunday. Oh, there's a nice little trio around the hole at number five. Very brave tee shot here, almost in the water. Oh, yes. The aforementioned Thomas Peters, his third shot at eight for the range goats. Oh, yeah. Let's see, here's third shot at eight. He did well. Back towards the water. Wants to knock this one close. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, Nicely done by Bryson. Now throughout the season, Live Golf's top players. Nine iron for Patrick. All occasions on the left. Certainly don't want to flirt with it. Anything just right of it's going to be a good play. Shot there. Make a big number as opposed to Here's the a opposite. Terrifying bunker shot for the average golfer back towards the water. That, <laughs> that's about as close to perfect as you're going to get. This is for Birdie. And the perpetually half untucked shirt. He's one man fashion show. Oh, oh yes. Oh gets the range goats into second place on two under three back at the moment crushes back to four under because paul casey has just bogeyed nine to slip to one under for his round he can land it a few yards over the bunker use the slope to kick it towards the pin and let it spin on the second bounce oh it didn't get the bounce i thought a great shot a few moments ago, Anna Ban Lahiri, his third shot at eight. He's not going to do it again, is he? He's already chipped in once. And oh. he's chipped in again. No. Just a little off. Taylor, Taylor Gooch. Gooch. Yeah, two over, David, so far. The range goes level yeah. par. And oh, at the moment in fourth place. He's leaning like he hit in the middle of the lake. Right. They won three out of four events between May and August, Tortoke, and they're still in the hunt here. 
Charles Howell, his second shot of the eighth. Boy, he, got, he took a chance with his tee shot. Oh, and another great one. Good swing there, buddy. That's a chance for Eagle. Yeah, a lot of players in these bunkers. Mito Pereira playing a nice one there. Second shot at the 11th hole. Very nice. It is two over for his round, but on the green at 80, he has an eagle opportunity here. And he takes it. That's a big moment for the range goats and for Taylor Gooch, who goes back to level par for his round. not playing his third after the tee shot in the water. He can still walk away with a four with one good putt. Yeah. Started at the middle of the bunkers there, let it drift back. Good shot. So two eagle chances. Really expected to find the green. He had a beautiful tee shot way down. But that, he was still make four. He has no weight at all on his right heel. Stands there on that flat of his left foot and the ball of his oh. right. Oh, here come the goats, David. Thomas Peters coming off a birdie at 11. This is his third at 12. The longest par five on the golf course. Lahiri has just tapped in for that birdie, so the crushers get it to seven under. There we go. Honor Bond at 11, his approach. <laughs> Liking this too. And he should. <laughs> Man of the match right now. Absolutely. DJ will have spotted that. And he makes the adjustment accordingly. Well, currently six back. This was just a moment ago. Taylor Gooch. His approach shot into the 10th green. Right at it. Yanks it away from the hole. That's a good roll. Oh, yes. Oh, Casey rescues par, and that could be hugely significant. That was a change up out of Peters. Yeah. You line at 12. Oh, yeah. Nice. Far back in his stance, he's playing this, driving it in low, one bounce and a check. Downwind front hole location. Yes. is doing exactly what we described earlier on. Charles Howell III and Paul Casey steady, both level par, which has given room for Lahiri and Bryson DeChambeau to excel. And he's been making a little noise publicly about uh, willingly taking a non-playing role in the future. Hopefully, Greg, that's a distant future. Yeah, absolutely. He has a lot of value out here. And just hearing the fans, the way they react to him and what he... Golf he's putting together. Yes, he is. That was happening. Taylor Gooch hit his third at 12. Par five. Play really aggressive into these par fives with a wedge. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, right on cue. Kick that one in. Looking for Thomas Peters. The goat slipped to seven under par there. Five back of the crushers. Marco dials it in nicely at 12. Yeah, Charles Howell, eight iron. Whole location's on a spine today. Good shot. Oh, it's gonna get it. Is it gonna oh, get it? Oh. Shades of Greenbrier and Bryson's 58. Without the wind into him, it's such a much easier driving hole. You don't see short irons into this green on a regular basis. Taylor Gooch, his second shot into the 16th. He laid it up, Suan. Yeah, I did. Popped it for the iron off the tee. Paid off. Sure did. That's a good pop up. Oh, he's <laughs> done it again. We've seen a little of that late in the season. But look at this. Yeah, and it was no easy two putt, you know, coming from the bottom level there. He goes right ahead and makes it. And both of the twos were in lengthy putts. This was Waco for birdie at 15 a moment ago. But here he did indeed tap in the short one at 18 for par. Move the screen today. No. Right foot slipped a no. little. Might have caught it. Hair heavy. Not really. Good shot. Yeah, it is a good shot. Par five, his third shot. Oh, there's a chance of birdie. Harold Vaughn of the third to end with a birdie and to get the range goats to within one shot of the crushers. And he's done it! Well, rumors of the range goats' demise have been greatly exaggerated. They only Championship Sunday to win in Chicago. Come on, he's done it again. This man is Come just on. ridiculous. Never a doubt. <laughs> Jason to the second green, and he still birded it. It, it. When it's all said and done, it'll just be the crushers were just too tough down the home stretch of the 2023 season. Oh, you know it had a hurt a guy. You really high. brought that up, did you? You had to bring that up, didn't you? Or, it was just. Oh! oh! <laughs> he nearly did. Comments like that, Chubby. Thank you very much. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Well, uh, Chubby's uh, opinion means a little <laughs> more than most. Oh, nice finish. I played a lot of golf with Chubby.